Keychron K13 Pro mechanical keyboard is an odd one. Now, on one hand, it's using mechanical switches, which are typically found on gaming keyboards, but it's seemingly trying to push into that productivity market thanks to its lightweight size. And I've spent the last couple of weeks with this keyboard and have a few things to say about it. Here we go. First off, the K13 Pro is extremely Mac focused when you open the box with its command and option keys, though there are other keycaps in the box which are more focused on Windows users. I couldn't see an option on their website for a Windows style layout from the box, but alas, it isn't the end of the world. It just requires a bit of customization. Now the version here I have has the RGB backlight, which isn't very bright really. And I've got low profile Gatoron brown switches, which for the most part are pretty satisfying to type on and in no way loud or clicky or tactile. Now they are nice and muted though, and I'm not quite sure if you're a mechanical switch enthusiast that you would really like the sound profile here. And being super low profile as well, modding really is non-existent either. What you see and feel is what you get really. The switches are hot swappable though, if you are someone who favors a specific type of switch, though at this point, I'm not really sure spending a hundred pound here on the base keyboard, if you're going to be swapping out the switches is really the best way to go really. The unique thing about the K13 Pro though is the fact that it has squeezed a number pad in a TKL size space, which is pretty unique to see as most other manufacturers just ditch this in favor of lesser space. What this has done though is remove some function keys, which you may have become used to using within your workflow. Now think things like home or insert or the enter key, which can be found on the right hand side of the number pad on a full size keyboard, for example. There is also no wireless options here. And for the 99 pound asking price, this really should have been an option. You do have Bluetooth though, and you can use it with a cable of which a USB type C cable is included in the box, but there is no dongle or 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, which is very disappointing. There is a 2000 milliamp battery inside though, which is fairly decent. It's not really game changing, but I just got about a week worth of work out of it, working a normal nine to five Monday to Friday type deal. And for the most part, I'd find that fine. You can also connect up to three devices simultaneously. If you've got a laptop, a desktop and say a mobile phone on your desk, then this keyboard can switch between the three products. The color scheme here being black and gray is very tasteful, though if they are going after a Mac audience, a lighter gray may have been preferable here so it can at least match the housing of your MacBook Pro or Mac desktop. It is also compatible with an open source QMK, which allows users to create macros, change the lighting and do other kinds of settings directly from a browser and save them to the keyboard itself. There is no software to download and install on your desktop, which is very advantageous if you are out and about on the move or if you're on another PC altogether. The Keychron K13 Pro mechanical keyboard keyboard isn't bad at all. It is quite an iffy product really if you can get past the lack of wireless options. It's also in reality not that expensive compared to other mechanical keyboards and I think it's priced quite fairly really. The big thing I think people will like here is really the level of customization without the need for any software. Though I'm not keen on the fact it is so Mac focused from the box, give me some Windows keycaps straight out of the box so there is no customization needed for Windows users. Thank you very much for checking out my video review of the Keychron K13 Pro mechanical keyboard. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below, do you own one of these or would you like to grab one and use it for your productivity needs? Uh, like video editing, photo editing, typing, that kind of thing. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.